it was up 6.5 here and today we're going to be putting some wave sauce on a piano track right here all right so first let me just play the track play this is ba -bam. this is how it sounds raw Play the high part. All right, good. So before you do anything, what you need to do is clean up the track, and you put on. It depends on what the track needs. Now, first off, remember always remember that it depends on every mix is a fingerprint and it depends on the context of the piano and what part it plays in the mix in the entire mix so you just don't slap on uh eqs and compression just because you know they're there yeah you have to the piano tells a story within the whole mix so it, it and then the client also will tell you well you know i want it dark i want it light or you know put it however you feel like you know hey, however they want the whole mix is sound like so you would adjust to suit the mix but i just want to put on some sauce on the um the piano track just to show you how wave works and how how wonderful i really like wave plugins and i really challenge myself to to mix with just wave plugins so anyhow so having said all of that uh the age old compress and compress or eq first or eq then compress what it did is did both with this uh, instead of having to fix everything with compression and stuff uh what uh, one of the things i would have done was just use a power uh a eq that compresses i don't know why this isn't coming to me right now uh a dynamic eq thank you brain so this is a dynamic eq uh has some cuts right here let me play let me show you let me show you let me show you uh play right so you see all the peaks and stuff here would have had a high part that wasn't pretty good then it, it started it was choking so i boosted this here in like 3k or so actually this tells you exactly it's 25 minute one hertz uh minus 24.5 decibels let's put it up so it wouldn't sound too choke uh i would have cut off 31 hertz and i would have made dynamic because this i would have made dynamic uh 44 hertz too much i didn't even lift it off actually just lift it off a bit no not lift it bring it down a bit and you see it compressed i started the the threshold at minus 48 to compress the the um the reverb the low reverb so that you know the bass track or whatever could breathe you, know, you could do it a little bit more but you still don't want to choke the track so i took out uh 1202 hertz 1202 hertz uh, a couple decibels slight slight because it's a really good track it's a really good piano track so and then it would have shaved off at first it would have shaved off all of here and then it was choking so i had to bring it back so that it wouldn't so choked even though i didn't see any information here but you know yeah, the piano is like when they live one of the lifelines of, of of a track depending on the context of the track so it sounds like a balance so yeah it's playing through the whole song so it's vitally important that the uh the piano has life it sounds like a melodrama or something so so it has a little dark undertone that you know you could uh, So having done cleaning up per se with the compression plus or EQ plus compression to a certain degree because it's a dynamic EQ, um, this is different than multiband compression and different to just compression compressing the whole track. 
track. Some would have made the piano choke and some brought out uh, the life in the piano. But with this, it sounded great. But I realized that I had to do some I had to do some processing on my own, some fiddling on my own. So what I did, I would have um, I think this was higher. So I brought down the threshold so that it could be tipping the Uh, 
has to fit within the context in the mix. So I learned it down, man. This is just enough. And I already would have I would have had it to like here. But it sounded like, you know, you know, too high, too crispy. So I turned it down to about here, I think it was. Just listening back up to it. Heard it before, after. Before, after. I use the studio rack. Studio rack is free, by the way. And brighten up a piano with these four plugins. You know, uh, you could get the. You can save the settings. You know, if it help you, and. Before, after. All right, if you want the settings, you could get the settings and you could apply it, you know, because it's all about faster, efficient workflow. And having said that, uh, if this has helped you in any way or given you value in any way and it's helped your mixing journey to be a little easier or you've picked up something along the way you've learned, you know, and you want to see more, um, subscribe, like, comment you know and yeah see you in the next one you know 6.5 out let me just play it one more time now nah, nah. 6.5 out